Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. Now, uh, Takamura's uh, mission, it says wait a day for Takamura's call. So, what we're going to do is we're going to basically, well, let's see. Danger very high. Oh, that was the one that we just ran into, that's right. Okay, and here's the one from River. So we need to decide, do it do I want to do the mission from Detective River and continue down that sort of uh, side mission where we're uh, trying to figure out what happened to the mayor who was clearly murdered, probably by Holt. Um, or do we want to go to the Aldecado camp? Let's go to the Aldecado camp first. Mm, no, we we're we did this one relatively recently, so maybe let's go and do this one since uh, it's still fresh on the mind. Uh, Pan Am, we're coming for you soon, girl. Don't you worry. All right. Read the message from River. I can do that. Meet me in the evening on the corner of Pacifica Boulevard and Market Street. Waiting for you. Lost track of you somewhere, but I found Christine Markov. Waiting for you. Which one was the more recent one? We already talked to Christine Markov. Okay, so the, the first one we read, I think, is the most recent one. Um, okay. Do I want to spend this? I feel like body is going to be important to us as well, because that gives us health. And uh, if we're going to be doing a blades run, we're going to be close to people a lot. So that's going to be important. Uh, we should probably do this one. Armor increased while moving. So let's go ahead and get those. What else do we got? To limbs. Crit damage with pistols and revolve. Ooh, big crit. Big crit. Yeah. We're going to keep going through those trees. Handguns, blades. And then we can also maybe do some health stuff. Work on our evasion and general health. Yeah, things like this. Uh, stamina's good for blade users, I think. Although I don't think blades take too much stamina. It seems like we can swing that thing for days, but... We haven't had an issue with it yet. Okay. to figure out what car I want to work towards buying. That's why I'm looking at these. Uh, let's see. Cars for sale. That looks like a nice one. Mizutani. Those are probably Badlands cars. Badlands. They're not the Badlands, are they? Is that what do they call them? The the, the nomad area. <laughs> Quadra Turbo. Okay, Okada. Oh, Jackie. This. What is this? A Quadra Avenger. Let's see what that one costs. Of 
Where is it? Quadra Avenger. 55,000. I think we're gonna go and get ourselves a new car. I want that car. across this river. Every once in a while, I just gotta like look up. Oh man, it's wild, isn't it? I'm also like super paranoid that my setting, yep, see, my settings have been reset. So annoying. Hopefully the fact that it's in the ground doesn't pose a problem. <laughs> that was their way of keeping it from me until I bought it, maybe. <laughs> this thing looks nice. The Avenger. Oh yeah, I'm excited about that. All right. So we decided to go with the hunt, meet with River Ward in the evening. thing turns on a dime. It's a little uh, little mousy. I'm, it's going to take me a second to get used to it. The bikes don't turn like that. <laughs> This is my parking spot. I'm such a dick. Well, this is the place. Tick, 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 tick. How's it going, man? How are you holding up? What's up? Even better. I know. Probably not hard to tell. Nice ride. Brand new? 
Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. What happened, man? So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Mm-hmm. First, take a look. Is it gonna be Han? My name or his is daughter? Ball, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. Oh. Is that going to be Han's daughter? The boy from the footage is Laval Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. This Peter Pan, he an old case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. So this has nothing to do with the last mission. We're just helping a bro out on something else he's struggling with. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. He disappeared not long past. And what you just saw. The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. Know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. Now, I mean, shoes don't mean much. There's probably many people out there who have the same shoes that I do, so did they find his DNA on it or something? Maybe they did. What, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. You got it. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but we can view his dreams. Sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. Some form of, uh, brain dance, I guess, maybe? It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. Okay. Got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. It wriggles in your mouth? Why? Why would they make it do that? Don't eat easy beef, my god. Oh, almost lost him. Okay. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but uh, not through the main entrance. Oh, we're gonna break the law. We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. Nine out of twelve? Okay. 
Well, that's not happening. We're gonna have to find a different way. All right. How'd you know about the audit? I did my homework. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who needs ladders? I have a double jump. Hey, that's open. Don't walk off that, ladies and gents. Uh, bad idea. You should probably put a rail here, huh? You think? Maybe? Okay, this is clearly not the way I'm supposed to go. Where the devil am I supposed to get in? I mean, it's kind of implying that there's something up here. Did I just miss it? Is it this? Ah, okay. Um, I guess, I guess he found it before I did. Know where they're keeping the BD? Likely the room where they edit the autistic kid's dreams. Should be labeled as Anthony Harris. Use Kuroshi to find the right cabinet. Hmm. A few of these rooms we probably don't have to bother with. <laughs> what? What? Dude. All right. Plastic and metal, this device simulates conditions in the uterus, maintains the life of the BB, and detects BTs. Wow. All right. All right. Death Stranding. Locked. Can't get in. That's cool. Well, I mean, I guess, uh, I guess he's in the game, uh, Kojima, so uh, <laughs> it makes sense that he would allow other things from his uh, his game to be allowed in here. That's cool. Nothing here. No sign of any BDs. Patient transported to hospital 18 minutes after suffering missile wound to the head. As the missile penetrated multiple brain layers, a temporary pulse cavity immediately followed. Due to rapid intervention, intracranial pressure was reduced and inflammatory damage to brain tissue was avoided. Despite successful intervention, the patient remains in a coma with estimated chances of waking at only 0.6% in the event a patient does awake. Likely complications may include paresis in the right side of the body, vision impairment, speech it impairment, and cognitive disorder. Uh, estimated value for NCPD investigation near zero. Ninety-one is now a feared number. While the phobias of other numbers have origins well studied by science, tetraphobia derives from the fact that the Chinese words for death and four sound similar, we can still only hypothesize about the rise of 91. Patients afflicted by a phobia of the number 91 often complain of recurring nightmares in which a giant countdown reaches 91 then suddenly stops. When they attempt to restart the countdown, it transforms into a bright yellow board with vermin crawling all over it. This is a reference to something, isn't it? This shared experience has already spawned unproven conspiracy theories, which, among other things, or maybe it's a reference to something that happened in a cyberpunk thing, claim that the dreams are transmitted via either electromagnetic waves, the digitized minds of mysterious Netrunner sect, blah, uh, rogue artificial intelligence, or classified nanochips installed by Night Corp agents. A 91% success rate. Alright. There might actually be a little bit too much to read.
let's see. There's like literally nobody here. It's kind of weird. Okay, into the big room. It's gotta be in here somewhere, right? Hey, River! Think I got it! Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yo! What are you doing here? Uh-oh. You got kicked off the force! Just suspended, actually. What did she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yo, and please, listen to me. He's Aren't in more trouble than we trouble thought. Already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Protocols. Talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out now. Listen, you work with badges, right? You know what they're like. Feed them analysis, they'll shit out failure. This type of thinking is the very reason we live in a lawless city. Lawless? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. This man, he only takes. He never gives anything back. River and I get along, we're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Doesn't mean he couldn't, though, I thought us to be fair. Too. That why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Hmm. Looks like a dead end, River. I'm sorry. Audio visual stimulation. That's what we gotta try. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any reason you haven't? Because, unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try? Just... go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic, in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. I'm more curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Well, it's happening. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks. <laughs> it's only my life. Oh, is he in that other room? I thought we were leaving. Oh, shit. 
Okay, that was weird. Cops seem to like you. Could be this one sniffing around for something extra. Stay out of it, Johnny. Ooh, think someone actually wants to polish Mr. Policeman's badge. <laughs> Moments like these, I truly mourn the fact I can't fucking sock you one. Fine, not gonna pry. Truth is, you could have done worse than Detective Blue Moon Ward. I already have. I've got a brain parasite nibbling away at my nerve endings as we speak. Okay. Let me hear it. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a lead head, doesn't it? Yeah, that'd do. It's just, um... Uh, it's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Jesus, okay. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. Gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? Well, it's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. I want to see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line? Rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus. Not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. I think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered. Yeah, these tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Okay. Sign me up. Beer sounds good. We find Randy, then we find the bottoms of a few bottles. It would be my pleasure. been a while damn it looks like we traveled far huh yeah we're right on the outskirts I'm not sure where we started but I used to come over every weekend Got to go and changed it all since places like this never change Lovely neighborhood. Mwah. I guess it's impressive to even have plants at all in this world, huh? Simulates the freshwater environment of the Amazon basin from the mid 21st century. River. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. So V, is this about my Randy? We're not supposed to talk about it. Joss, I, 
I, I don't know how to say this, but... Randy was abducted. Abducted? But he's alive, I thought right? we weren't gonna tell her. River! Tell me, damn it! Uh-oh. We're looking, Joss. Here? Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. Tell him it's time to eat. Hang in there, Joss. Signs of insomnia. Me too, girl. Me too. So there's probably what, three kids? What's on your mind? Including the missing I think one? all the women in your life have character. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Monique, Dorian, hey guys. Is this your girlfriend? Just a friend. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you with dinner. This is their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash. I... did I not? Alright, maybe I need to like... Let's try it there. I think it's just a bug that the camera goes crazy sometimes. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, the dead zone, but I don't know, maybe. Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. They know him well. He used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. That seems just like something I want to look at, but doesn't seem to want me to. Cat food. Okay. Oh, maybe we have to scan it? Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this. You're joking. Can't brute force it. No chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Mm, need two more. Um, yeah, I don't have that. Don't know how, River. Damn. Damn. Need to try to guess it then. What could he have? Tainted Overlord. 
Who's the girl? Oh, that. Who's the girl? Oh, that one too. Ex. Natalie. Ex in the pick. What's her name? Natalie? Gonna have to keep trying. You sure, X? Okay, it's not actually a, 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 a porno mag, is it? I think it's like a GQ or something, maybe. Oh, Liberum Arbitrium. Dark shit. Sound could use work, but you can tell they put blood, sweat, and tears into it. Be Randy looks like his tag. <laughs> Maybe B Randy would be the code. I also need to see if we can find the key. Drugs. Let's not go there. Hmm. Society's fault. And now the Caldo's jacket? Hmm. Keep sick. Used to be his dad's. Interesting. Okay. Go. Maybe Alda Caldo's his pop's jacket. Uh, oh, not working. Give his tag a try. Be Randy. That's not it. Well. Last option, maybe? Punch this track title. Liberum Arbitrium. That did it. Help me have a look around. Okay, sit at the computer. Yeah, I'm not seeing any keys, man. What am I missing? What am I missing? Sit at the computer. It's optional. Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. <laughs> My skin's crawling. Blades of Doom trilogy, chapter one, Ghost of Ancestor Salvation. Black Metal has produced countless charismatic characters. Okay, Anthony 34. I meant to call. They caught Harrison if you collect that. I meant to call. Sorry, spent. Shit, River, I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. All right. Um, I meant to call, sorry, spent half the day sitting in my Thornton. Police had all of Watson blocked off and I was stuck in traffic for hours trying to cross town. I kind of live in an area where I used to go to school, but it looks all different now, so trying to find ways past all those jams made it easy to get all, uh, all turned around. Hope you're not mad. From B. Randy, hey, no problem, I need to help my mom anyways, etc., etc. Do you have everything ready at your place? Almost. Okay, so these are conversations between True these two. True angel of empathy, this guy. Huh? Just want to say thanks. Guess in general I'm just holding on to the thought that there are more people like me out there dealing with the same shit. Why are you helping us anyways? 
Uh, da -da -da, from Anthony, I used to be like you. Like all of you, I wasn't spared any of life's cruel twists and turns. Worst uh, of it was when my best friend died. Shit, sorry to hear that. Can I ask what happened? Uh, rare muscle disease, body just got weaker and weaker until he shadowed himself. Wanted to help more than anything. No possible way I could. Anyway, that's why I do what I do. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I used my admin privileges to Figure find you identity. in real life. That Sent is your home address. Sorry, hope it's not too weird, but I had a good reason. There's a gift on its way. A game called Big Trouble in Haywood. You know it? Anyway, hope you like it. Have fun. Okay, this one's from B. Randy. This guy baited Randy like Token a Token again. I don't know why I keep doing it. Guess I'm just a piece of shit. You're a perfectly normal person, Randy. You're just like anyone with a with a gannic heart still beating in their chest. Remember, I'm always here to talk to, to understand you, to help you. I know you'll recover from this like you always have. So it's... Two, are they both addicts? Uh, from Natalie. Thanks for yesterday. The city from up on that tower looks so beautiful. Honestly, I felt speechless, though. Maybe that's just because I don't love heights. Really, it was nice. But maybe next time I take you into the city, head to Japantown, grab a bite. You'll love it once you see it. And oh my god, the restaurant my aunt takes me to sometimes? So, Nova. Just let me know. Love you, cutie. Yeah, of course. I had fun, too. About this restaurant. We'll see. Not sure I'll have time. I had to prom uh, Hard to promise anything, so we'll see. Hey, you know you don't have to worry about Eddie's. We already talked about this. Just let yourself be invited to something nice for once. Love ya. Okay, be Randy to Anthony. Tell you what, I think your site's really Nova. Do you... Are you... Seeing what I'm seeing. I think seeing? I'm ready to finally meet up in person, same time and place. There's no way. Because, man, I just can't wait now. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Okay, makes me happy to hear you're happy. Just one time to request. Delete that first email I sent, just in case. Don't want anyone sniffing around something that doesn't concern them. Uh oh. I understand. I didn't have a normal family either. My mom died young, and my dad, he just tried to give me a future. It wasn't easy enough to make a living on uh, the farm once the cattle pestilence took hold. Eventually, it all just fell out beneath his feet. The cattle, the business, deep depression took his life. I tell you this so you know you're not the only one who's lost a father. I understand you so well. The only real difference is it was nomads that stole your dad from you, and for me, it was a corrupt corpse and their dirty money grabs. That's why I had all my activity from the corpse. Trauma team and Biotechnica would be all over me in a second if they knew what I got up to. But I don't have to explain all that to you, Randy. You get it. I know you'll keep all this just between us Chumbas. Stay strong, buddy. I know you got it in ya. Alright, from Randy. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Check out the site. Drugs are bad when you're there. Click on the image, the red one with the people in it. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to do that. From Natalie, the hell is this? Some kind of cult? Like, how do you even find this? Just cruising the net doesn't matter. No. Uh -oh. From Gail, hey, you don't answer my texts, won't answer my hollows. Still alive, man? I have a special de delivery for you from a Valentino Chum of mine. You just gotta pick it up. Anyone in Haywood would give both kidneys for this thing, and I'm still holding it for you. Free of charge like some gump. Do me a favor and answer because I'm starting to get pissed. Okay. Um, so in this one, drugs are bad. Click on the image. Red one with people. Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. A hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. Oh, I'm going to be sick. What is this guy up to? Good to see you, friend. Welcome to Tony's Haven. The place you've been looking for. The place where you can become the best version of yourself, thanks to Tony. I live here with my friends. They came here because they were fed up with seeing their life go to waste, just like you. Think of me as a farmer who looks after his livestock. Get acquainted and stick around. Together we'll show those old farms what we're capable of. No idea what I'm talking about? Don't worry. I'll explain everything in good time, but it's time for you to decide. Do you want to remain a shadow of yourself or become the person you always dreamed to be? Come on down. What the hell, dude? Now how does this factor into this farm thing? What the hell? Introduce yourself and stick around. 
I know. I preyed on troubled kids, made habit to target boys like Randy. This is my fault. If I just paid more attention, just talked with him more. Hey, come on. You're not the one to blame here. I know who you are. You're the boy that's been rejected by society, left to fend for himself, misunderstood by his family, and deprived of real friends. I was once like you. You can stay here as long as you like because you just found your new home. I have a secret, special treatment that will not only get you back on your feet, but will also free up that weight from your mind and shoulders and make you limitless. Everything you need to bust out of your shackles, you'll find them in my haven. You'll become superhuman, resistant to sickness, strong, healthy, invincible. But before we do that, how about we get to know each other first? Shoot over a message at Anthony34 at Night City, drugs are bad pub. Remember, you're one of the chosen ones. Hey, there was look. a file here. The name of Delita looks like, but the name's still there. Wasn't the video file on Randy's Randy comp called something it. like that? Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? I don't know, can I? Get his IP address. Damn, seven out of 12. Shit, man. Not that kind of magician. Oh, okay. We'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River, could be what we've been looking for. Said yourself we need something that'd get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right, sending it now. Okay, says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, eh, come on, let's grab a bite. Tony's shelter. Weird. All right. Well, I think we're going to follow up on this in the next episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.